All right, what's happening, fam? LAR moving, still moving. Um, the book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. It's at Amazon Kindle Create Space. Uh, a link will be in the description box below as usual. This video is entitled The Black Male in Blackistan. I should take off this bear's hat just because they drafted Mitch Trubisky, but whatever. Um, when you hear these women refer to Blackistan, it's usually the quote-unquote the hood, you know, the the inner city, the urban areas, you know, the the the, the, the violent parts, you know, surrounded by all of the trappings of hood life. And I'm using this just like when they were making the uh, videos about the young man on the Steve Wilco show with the with, with his mother coming out talking about he needs to man up for kids that's not his. This is a spinoff of that situation because we don't talk about this. Because Blackistan is what some guys call the matriarchy and some guys call the gynocracy because Blackistan is um, single mother household neighborhoods. You know, that's basically what it is, you know, with them and their um, poor poverty, bad neighborhoods, no discipline, no structure, no community type vibe, right? So being a black male in Blackistan is like that young man, you know, the women in that in that scenario don't care about that young man that young man. His girlfriend could cheat on him and have him taking care of two children that aren't his and that girl's mother is cool with it. You know, could she have been duped? Maybe. But but did she know that there was a chance those kids weren't his? Absolutely, because that's her mother. They're probably in her house doing while they were screwing and while she was cheating, she knew what was going on in this young girl's life. So that's what being a black male in Blackistan is. You know, the women stick together even at your detriment. When his mother comes up and um, tells him he needs to man up and take care of somebody else's kids because he's a good guy. When your mother basically turns on you on national t TV after you've been cheated on, played, humiliated on national TV and, tell, and say, your feelings don't matter. You need to take care of these kids that's not yours and be hitched to this girl who played you and her mother who played you and me who's also playing you trying to tell you this. That's a black male in Blackistan. Um, the, the fact that the matter when the crowd is just like silence because at one end, some of them are shocked but on the other end, some of them low, you know, this is how we roll. And Silas is golden. Let's just keep this pushing and hopefully this boy takes the bait. Which creates, you know, the the black male in Blackistan, right? The black male in Blackistan. Because he was he's a he's a teenager, he's a young boy. That's why I'm saying male and not man on the title. Um so then you move a little forward. Steve Wilcox, Wilcox, uh, tells the little boy in a, in a nice subtle way, get out of there. And the women don't really reply to Steve because, let's be honest, the, the black women in Blackistan listen to what white guys say. And they let white guy, you know, that's who they, they bow down to. You know, so now if he says it, I'm not really going to fight back at trying to throw this this young male under the bus and letting everybody else off the hook because he you know he's a white guy so even in that situation you have to deal with the nuances of blackistan as a black male you know nobody can have your the women of your own and your own family in your own community won't have your back but, but they'll let the white guy come in and tell you and say, I got your back, but I'm not going to get too involved But because I know they, I run them though. They'll listen to them. They'll let me speak my two, my two cents and my piece in this situation. Now, let's move a little forward. 
because of scenarios like that, you're dealing with a community of black males who, who are unloved by their own mothers and the females in their environments. They're unprotected by getting preyed on by groups of females who will use you and, and play you and manipulate you, which in, in basically um, stomp on your humanity. Because in Blackistan, they were taught that men don't matter until they save you from yourself. Now, the problem with this whole scenario is, is also people want to get out of Blackistan, right? And as a black male, you know why it's harder to get out of Blackistan? Because the same people who don't love you, don't respect you, and plot to, to sabotage you are the same people that want you to, to, to make it in life so you can get them out of Blackistan. He going somewhere, so I got to, I got to get pregnant by him. He going somewhere, so I, so I got to tell somebody that he's something, so maybe they beat him up or shoot him or kill him. Or he going somewhere, so maybe I just, maybe I could say he did something and maybe get him arrested. And if he can make it through all that, maybe I can give him some of this good cookie and he could take me from away from here, so I don't have to live around y'all no more. So, this is what the black males in Blackistan have to deal with, you know. And the irony about this is, is, you know, the women don't like being in the hood. But the women facilitate the hood getting worse and sabotage the hood from getting better. Thus, showing how the different lives are, are um, thus exacerbating the, the, the big difference between the two different lifestyles of Blackistan or dysfunctional life and functional life. Because all of these um, people in Blackistan all have dreams of having a mansion and cars and money in the bank and being the man or the woman or being rich and famous while surrounded by people who don't want to necessarily see you make it because they didn't make it. And if you make it and they don't make it, that's, it's, it becomes a problem. That you, you know, that's going to cause some conflict. So now, as a black male in Blackistan, you have to make, Think about it. If you, you know, go to college, you're never coming back. If you go to the military, you're never coming back. If you go to trade school just outside of Blackistan, you're never coming back. If you move to a different side of town, you're never coming back. You might like your neighborhood, actually. You might have some really good friends and family in that neighborhood. But the problem with being a black male in Blackistan is... You have to, as a child and as a teenager, be considered the, the next villain and the next superhero at the same time. You're the villain and the savior. And you're the villain to ungrateful people. You're the villain to people who are hypersensitive to things that you didn't even do because they're mad at the choices they've made in life. So they project their hatred to black males and men onto you and but then you're also their savior because you have to take on all of their drama and they feel if you can handle it and get out of the situation you owe them um to, to you owe them something from all of their drama to elevate them out of their situation which is ridiculous but that's how it that's how it plays out now going a little further
during this time, when I say you don't, there's no love and respect, who do these women love? The same type of men who perpetuate the neighborhood getting worse. Because the, the guys that they are in relationships with make black a stand worse. The guys that they are uh, in relationships with make the increase increase the divide between men and women and blacker stand the guys that they they that they are attracted to are the guys that they wind up hating other people's children's male children because they remind them of the guy that you know that ran through them but that they but at the same time that's the guy that they wanted to to run through them. so you know, you're projecting your 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 hate and your bad decision making onto children and teenagers because of the teenagers and adults that you're accustomed to falling in love with. And to be a black male in that environment is very toxic because now you got you you're dealing with women who don't even your own mother is not on your side. Your sisters may not be on your side. Your girlfriend and her family are not on your side. Their brothers and uncles, fathers, are not on your side. You know, th their friends are not on your side because the minute you do something good, everybody is running to take the spoils of your labor. The minute you do something bad, everybody's there to take your life. But everybody expects you to have this, this, this space in your heart for all of these downtrodden people who feel like you know they're responding out of poverty and dysfunction to, to be forgiven enough to if you're able to get out of Blackistan to drag them out with you. As if we haven't seen how horrible that idea is because these same people go into different environments and bring their same mentality with them. But here's the caveat. Like I said before, if the white guy tells them to stop or something's wrong, they'll check themselves. So the black guys in Blackistan that they feel like are part, that, that are part of the problem that make it worse are held to a higher standard than the white guys that come into town and do the same pump and dump that the black guys that you hate do, but it's something about them being white that lets them off the hook for them making the situation worse too because they're part of the problem also. They're part of the crime in the, in the neighborhood also, but they get a pass because of their color. Or just they don't even have to be white, they just have to be non-black. So, when you're a black male in Blackistan, these type of situations happen. This is your, this is the normal experience. And then people wonder why there's this rift between the men and the women. Well, when you're, a Mother's Day is coming up. And think about how that young man looks at his mother for Mother's Day. Think about how he'll look at her in the future for Mother's Day when he looks back at those clips and he looks back at that, that, that ex-girlfriend and him thinking he was a father. And he looks back at that, uh, that, that ex-grandmother who was supposed to be so down for him and everybody played him. But everybody probably wants him to be a man and take care of the situation. And you put that guy on... And, and make him your normal black male who may be 25 years old, why are you not coming back? Why you don't call? Why you don't come through? Seem like you just don't, you, you don't like being around us no more. You seem like you too good for us. You don't want to be in black and stand with us no more. You don't even, you, you getting bougie. This type, this is why this stuff happens. That's how it changes. But I'm out. Peace.